the piece that is going to kind of amplify pressure on that segment is the rollout of inference. In many ways, inference is going to require that that same type of facility, both in terms of size and location. And it really doesn't exist right now. Nobody's been building that. And so I think there's going to be a really interesting opportunity for some first movers to start to roll out a primary strategy around building probably in the 20 to 50 megawatt size range to capture the demand profile that you described on the enterprise side. But if you take a step back and just think about how AI works, most of what we've seen so far has been AI training, which really kind of ties back to that ultra large scale campus concept oriented around location. I mean, latency is less important for training. It's really just about power throughput, highly densified, and location is a little bit less important. Inference is going to be totally different. Inference is going to be highly latency sensitive. I mean, inference is going to be the portion of the AI workload where the models are interacting in real time with end users. I think to function properly and get the most out of what those models offer, the latency is going to have to be exceptionally strong. It'll still require dense deployments, but it's not going to be nearly the same amount of power. It's going to be much more distributed. We've been talking about the edge for 10 years and it never really materialized, I think, in the way that people expected. But I think inference is going to drive that. And so, you know, 20 to 50 megawatt deployments across all of the important metro areas is going to be infrastructure that needs to get built. And so I think that'll be an opportunity for us on the investment side. And I think for operators to start to build their platforms around that.